We are backstage here at the Country Music Hall of Fame and honoring the one and only Earl Thomas Connolly. Of course, Blake Shelton has spread his name throughout your career. I can remember the very first time talking with you, we had a conversation about him and how he influenced you. Mm -hmm. and can you talk about that a bit? You know, I, I, even to even now and even you know way back then, the reason that his name probably would come up is is you know even though I was starting my own career back then, I was still frustrated that Earl wasn't you know a, a bigger deal. You know, I was just I couldn't believe it. He was just the the greatest to me, and, and so I always brought him up and and in my interviews and, and whenever I could get a chance, you know, because I, I knew that. There's only one way to get the, the new, younger generation to, to know about him, and that's to cover his songs and talk about him. And You know, I, I don't know what year it was, but and I didn't hear from Earl all that often. You know, it would have to be something, something big would have to go on before, he, you know, I would hear from him. But uh, I won a, a CMA award for, for Male Vocalist of the Year. I don't know what year it was now, but uh, that day when I got into the, to the, Auditorium. They had the uh, CMA booklets under the seat, and I, you know, it was a commercial break, and I was flipping through it, and and I was looking to see who all had the past award winners had been, and I noticed uh, Earl Thomas Conley had never won a CMA award, uh, or for for Male Vocalist of the Year, and it, I was just I was just offended by it, you know, and and then I happened to win that night, and when I got on stage, I, I actually thanked him as you know being my inspiration and. And that got a text. That got a text from him, you know. And it's cool to know that just about the time you think that he's he's he was disconnected and unplugged from the industry, it let me know that at least he was still keeping his eye on me, you know. And that was a really big deal to me. When I listened back to my catalog, you know, I've really pushed myself as a, as a vocalist as probably further than I should have, uh, depending on on the night. But I think that's because of Earl, because you know. It's funny if you talk to the, all these artists out here, we're all saying the same thing, which is there, there's none of us got to sing an easy Earl Thomas Conley song here today because they're all super hard songs to sing as a vocalist. I mean, he's just so rangy and push it, you know, f further than you you would you would think, you know, especially for his time, and it still stands up today. You know, his 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 voice is, in my opinion, the greatest country voice of all time enough said there you go thank you thanks for all you did here today absolutely thanks proud to be a part of it this is cdx